you guys back again with another video. Got a surprise for you, man. We're getting a whole bunch of surprises in all these videos lately. Um, upgrading, 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 moving and shaking. That's what we're doing. Um, basically uh, showing you guys how to make money, how to build your business, like I built mine from uh, the ground up uh, to where I'm at right now. And uh, right now, I can honestly say um, it's it's kind of right where I want it. You know what I mean? It's I'm um, doing good. I think I'm to the point right now where I know in some of my prior videos where I was like, I don't really want to take any more new customers. But I'm to the point now where I think we can start um, upgrading, and get more customers, and and, and and doing that. So basically, what I did is, um, as you can see, in my prior videos, I had that black trailer. Well, I just sold that. How I told you, the guy that bought my 4x6 wanted to buy that trailer. So I sold both of them, and then I got the hookup on my new trailer. I just got picked up a 6x12 trailer, and it, it holds everything. Right there, you guys. Check it out. It's a Lone Star trailer. I got this for $700. Everything's good to go. Check it out. Um, all the wires, stuff like that, work great. Um, and uh, yeah, I really can't complain. This thing like rides really, really good compared to the other trailer. It was always bumping, everything like that. Of course, you know, the paint's not super perfect, but compared to what else I had, this is a super, super big upgrade. So yeah, we're gonna go out here. We've got everything loaded up. Got the both the Y Bravos, got both, well, both the Y Bravos, got the mower, maybe get some racks or something like that next. Um, I don't know, I kinda like the big box that some of the trailers have on there with the, the mesh box to protect everything. We might go with the, um, the trimmer racks. I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see how we get everything laid out because um, right now, yeah, this is the first time I had it set up, as you guys can see. Got the 21, 25. 32 and I got room for another one I've been talking with the dealer maybe next season maybe getting a 48 or 52 we don't, I don't know we'll see but yeah we got a busy day today I'm gonna go out there and make this money show you guys that anything's possible you know what I mean I pretty much um started my company it was kind of off a, a joke you know and built it with the green pal app from the green pal app I was able to expand with other yards in the neighborhood so um I'm pretty good you know what I mean we're just now this is still learning as we go but yeah it's it's good can't, can't complain. Moving and shaking. Let's get this money. We just got done with that last long, and uh, I can honestly say is I'm glad I got my 25 back. We've been hitting it with the 21, but that that 25 is just you know what I mean. It just feels so natural, and I, it's probably because I've been using it since day one. So that's just my opinion on it, and um, it just just feels good out there hitting the grass with the 25. Almost, I mean, yeah, you're hitting it quicker because it's a bigger you know cut, but I just feel like I think it cuts better. The other one's just too lighter, you know I me. Mean? I don't know. Maybe it's just just me, but that's the way I feel. And uh, yeah, this is a uh, this that was actually one of my lawns that I actually was really thinking about, you know, kind of dropping because it's kind of out here. 
but it's in the neighborhoods that I need to really focus on because where I'm at, you know, by my house, yeah, I would love to have a lot by my house, but there's so many trees. They've been there for, you know, 80 years and stuff. And um, there's just always more, you know, kind of not really problems, but, you know, more obstacles you got to worry about. And, uh, you know, some of the hipsters, they, uh, they're not about getting their stuff done all the time. You know what I mean? It's like they just want to get it just so they're not going to get fined type of stuff. But in these neighborhoods, these have the homeowners association. So it kind of requires them to keep their grass uh, maintained, which is good for somebody like me, you know, because realistically, like I said, next year, I'm really going to try focusing more on um, the weeklies than the bi-weeklies because the bi-weeklies, it's almost like they're sometimes getting out of control. And, uh, you know, you don't want to really upcharge them because you've been taking care of them. Most of my people that are bi-weekly, I've been taking care of them since last summer. But I do, it does, you know, I, th I do think about, hey man, I need to drop them because they're getting crazy. But, you know, they might find somebody else to um, take care of them. But I'm just to that point where, you know, I need to get to where I need to grow my business better. So I need to focus more on the weeklies. You know, the bi-weeklies are going to keep me going, but there's sometimes my bi-weeklies, they'll want them done quicker, and it kind of messes up the schedule a little bit, you know, where it's it's skewing the schedule. It's kind of like making it like a warped wheel, you know, where it's hitting and it kind of hits and then just a little messed up, but yeah, we're going to go check out a new one. This is one of the Green Pal lawns that we just won, and I don't even remember bidding on it. That's the thing about it. Like, sometimes I think that app kind of messes up because uh, it had me bid... $36. I don't know if this is from last year, but we're going to check it out. If it's, you know, worth doing, we'll take care of it. If it's not, we'll ax them, you know what I mean? Because it said it's a little overgrown and um, I don't, I, today I just really don't, I don't know if I have the time to um, really focus on that, you know, because I have my, you know, my, my customers I've really been taking care of. So, you know, we're going to go see. I'll let you guys see. Let me know what you guys think. just got done with that last lawn um that was one of the green pal lawns that i picked up 
and uh, it wasn't too bad. You know, um, I guess he thought it was probably uh, worse than what it was. Um, it did have some overgrown grass around the fence and stuff, but it really wasn't too bad. You know, just went in there with, with the weed eater wide open, you know, cut it down. So, uh, took care of it and uh, we had a little trouble trying to get through the gate. It was a super tight fit, but the 32 was able to get through there. And uh, yeah, that pretty much um, was kind of the game saver on that lawn. It was new, it was kind of big in the backyard. And uh, so I was able to, you know, take care of it and uh, bang it out. Got a happy customer. Um, we'll see if uh, he actually books any more mows with us. I think he will, you know, but um, he said he tends to do it every now and then by himself. But um, what I've noticed that once you start doing a really good job for him and uh, making the lawn look really, really good, they get to the point where they actually just get a little bit lazy because, you know, you're always blinging it out, getting those stripes, laying down those nice edges and stuff. And uh, yeah, we're just getting better with them. The stand down, as you can see, it looked like the GoPro overheated because it was in the sunlight. Like I said, I'm gonna look at trying to get maybe the GoPro 8 for that. I just don't really want to put none of my big equipment cameras out there with all the dust and stuff because I don't think that would work too good. And uh, all the stuff I'm using right now talking, like this is my DLSR talking. But um, yeah, we're gonna look at trying to pick that up. But yeah, we're, it's a busy day today. We're gonna go and take care of um, a few yards. We're going to a couple weeklies, and um, yeah, we're we're gonna get some more footage for you and uh, see what you guys think. You know, I got everything in the back back there, as you guys can see. I got the the two Y Bravos and uh, the Gravely, and uh, now you know. I guess what's gonna be the next thing is probably gonna be maybe like a 48 or something along that line, a 52. We'll see, you know, because uh, we still got enough space back there. We're going to fill it up. Um, like I said, I don't know if I want to go with um, the, like the green touch racks or the equipment defender. Um, I've seen a couple people here in the city that actually do like those little mesh boxes you can put on the front. So I might be able to just go ahead and get one of those and maybe put everything in there. I don't know. What do you guys use? You guys think it's better to use the racks or you think one of those boxes probably work pretty good? So I'm going to um, definitely look at trying to do with that. And uh you know, see see what happens. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of like the look of those with the box on the front. And um, to me, it just kind of like, seems like it protects it better. But I guess everybody that has their green touch racks and the equipment defender, they really like them. So what would you guys do? What do you guys like? So let me know in the comments section. You know, we'll go from there because we're going to start building up this trailer. I think I might try doing like, you know, the Rhino line on the trailer. I don't know. You know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. I've seen a couple videos like that. And... Uh, I can definitely tell the difference with this trailer compared to the other trailers. This trailer tows really, really good. Like that was one of the things that my dealer told me when he gave it to me. And uh, he said, this trailer, it tows really good. And he's not lying. Um, the other trailer I had kind of threw stuff around and this one takes takes everything like it ain't nothing. So yeah, it's, it's almost like, Chris is like a, a Cadillac smooth. So yeah, let's go get this money, check out these next lawns. So stay tuned.
Alright you guys, that's probably the last lawn of the day. I was going to try to get another one in. I am I probably could have, but um, I did start a little bit late today, so um, I really couldn't uh, get to that last lawn like I wanted to. I did five today, but videotaped a few of them. As you can see, we got the pro stance out there. We got all the, um, the wide Bravo mower, mowers out there. Got a chance to see, you know, the new trailer thing. Uh, it tells like a dream. Uh, compared to my last one that I got from my brother. This thing is uh, it's pretty nice. We'll do a video on maybe uh, when I repaint this. So uh, it's um, it's all coming together, you know, uh, one step at a time. You know, uh, like I said, all last season was just pretty much um, getting my equipment and paying it off. This time it's just banking pretty much all the money and making the power moves that I need to make. So, uh, you know, it's a complete 180 from the end of last season compared to the middle of this season to towards three-fourths of the way so I think we got you know August September maybe a little bit of October and then you know we're pretty much we're done and then uh, we'll be regrouping going back at it strong the next year you know start looking at some other uh, equipment that we're gonna look at trying to buy um, definitely want to get a bigger bigger mower I think now since I have uh, the room for it on the trailer so all that's coming together as you guys can see, uh, with that last lawn, that's where uh, it was really paying off because I had a couple of there like that, you know, they, they pay good, but they're bi-weekly and I've uh, been trying to get them to go um, weekly, but it's a little bit harder. So, uh, and it's not one of the nicest yards, it's really uneven and stuff and um, the backyard's a pain in the butt. But, you know, we get in there, we, we, we're banging on out. It's probably the clo one of the closest ones to my house. So we hit it and that was my first time using the pro stance on it. So I'm, I was, I was really excited. We, we took it down a little bit lower just so we can kind of get a little bit of a grasp on it because uh, it's been raining so much and, you know, I just, yeah, I need to focus on uh, getting it under control a little bit better. So, yeah, we're going to go back home. We're going to unload the trailer. Good thing about this trailer is I can back it up into my carport pretty easy. So it's, um, it's one of those things, you know, gonna take it on back, um, take a shower, get the family, go eat, and... Um, Maybe get a little bit of video action tomorrow. I think I like maybe like one or two tomorrow, possibly. I know one definitely, and then of course we gotta focus on our lawn. So we'll get some more video of the um, pro stance in action. And uh, yeah, pretty much right now that's been my game saver. You know, um, it that's, makes the job so much easier. I mean, granted, I love pushing, but sometimes with uh, some of the overgrown grass, you know, the, the pushing, it just it gets old real quick. So you know, I'm really trying to streamline my. Um, my job this year and really focus on um, getting some some easier lawns that pay more money so to say you know what I mean so get up on some more of those weeklies and um, I don't know we'll look at see what we need to do trim the fat somewhere or, or whatnot and um, go from there so stay tuned subscribe like let me know what you guys think